Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only, so and I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own due diligence. So for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. So through this channel, I'd like to bring you some detailed stock analysis uh, and also a short five minute trading lesson at the end. So please stay tuned. So before I start, I'd like to give a special thanks to the over 1000 subscribers that have uh, subscribed so far. And also a special thanks to the non subscribers that keep watching. Uh, I am overwhelmed with the uh, response that, to the channel and um, uh, also a special mention to the uh, numerous people who have talked about my smoke alarm. I am on that, so don't worry. It's uh, going to be hopefully dealt with uh, this weekend uh, once the trading uh, has finished. Okay, quick recap for yesterday's trading. It was overall a very difficult day of trading. Uh, lots of shares moving down. Uh, however, this also represents a buying opportunity. There were some positives as well. So if we look at some of the positives, we have Aqua Metals. This is an investment that I have that, that did well. Takoff uh, also finished uh, extremely well. Uh, and also CCIV, which uh, I'm going to bring you shortly, as well as the Bitcoin plays. So first of all, before we go further, I'd like to give you a quick update on ticker symbol LLKKF, Lake Resources. This is a stock I analyzed in a previous video. It was temporarily suspended by Trading212. So the good news is it is now available to trade. So please put this back on your watch list uh, and consider uh, um, looking at this stock. There is an update on this stock. Uh, so I'm going to share a news article that was released yesterday uh, the headline here we'll just have a quick look late resources 99.97 percent pure lithium results take uh, them from speculative play to a proven tier one quality company so positive news uh, and the other news uh, about this stock it is also currently i believe in in the buy zone uh, it, it closed yesterday at just over four percent down uh, at 0 0.25 cents uh, it's a speculative pe penny play with high risks, so please uh, use your stop losses. However, I think uh, if you if you put this on your watch list going forward, I think we could see some tremendous returns. Okay, let's start with the uh, ticker symbol CCIV, Churchill Capital. This is a play that I was in uh, within minutes of uh, the news uh, release from Bloomberg, and my first initial price on this was $12.99. Uh, Let's have a look at what, what's happening right now. So yesterday, this closed at uh, just over 6% up uh, at $56.01. At, at, at one time, it did, did touch $59. So what's, what's happening? What's the latest? So we have a look at another Bloomberg article here by Luke McGrath. Uh, the headline is Lucid Motors Nears Deal to Merge with Churchill Capital. Uh, so basically, it's looking like it's virtually a done deal. So it's getting close to a deal to go public. The valuation is around about $12 billion. Uh, and we are, we've got some headlines here that obviously Churchill Capital initiated talks with investors to raise over $1 billion by selling shares in a pipe transaction for a deal with Lucid. So we, we are seeing confirmation here of the deal uh, that it is going to be imminent. So w this has been also covered by other uh, news headlines, which we're going to just look at now. And let's see if we can find the other ones. OK, so we'll start with uh, Yahoo Finance. So again, this is dated 16th of Feb. Uh, exclusive Lucid Motors near SPAC deal as Klein launches financing. And that's through their own sources, uh, article by Joshua Franklin and Aniban Sen. And uh, we are, we're, we're talking about a similar valuation, roughly $12 billion. And finishing off, we also have a, an article here by CNBC, uh, headline, Electric Motor Vehicle Maker Lucid Motors Near SPAC Deal Sources Say. So in conclusion, I, I'm very, very confident that this is now a done deal. Uh, so in going forward in terms of how to play this, uh, currently it's $56. There's been lots and lots of speculation about what the price will be going forward. Um, in my personal opinion, I think on announcement of merger, I think I think we're, go we're going to be looking at, at $70 plus. 
on announcement of merger. So once the merger is announced, there's, there will be much, much more of a frenzy right now. So please remember this price of $56 is only based on rumor. So once the actual merger is announced, I think we're looking at in excess of $70. So great, great news for all investors. Uh, there has been lots of profit taking again and people who did not come back into this play, they, they could miss out. Uh, one other thing that I believe will also happen, there will be um, potentially a sell off and uh, further down the line that I, I do see substantial fall just to consolidate. But long term, uh, this is going to be a hundred dollar plus stock. So today's stock analysis is just going to cover tick symbol uh, FVRR, Fiverr International, as you may know. Uh, this is a stock that I am quite bullish on. Uh, this one uh, yesterday closed just down over 4% uh, at $306.81. Uh, one of the reasons why I am bullish on this is this is one of the stocks that has benefited from the pandemic. Uh, going forward, their business model is very, very strong in terms of growth. And if we have a look at the one-year chart, uh, they have a uh, growth in excess of 1000%. So this is a stock I have done very, very well in. Uh, I put my initial average right now is $214 and it's closing uh, yesterday at $306. Uh, so I'm in currently in excess of 40% uh, up. And it also reached at one point uh, record highs of $330. So let's have a look at what's what's been in the news for Fiverr International. So the headline here from Business Wire is that Fiverr develops new, a new platform to help corporate brands and agencies to engage and manage project teams. So uh, absolutely fantastic headline uh, for investors. Let's delve into this uh, a little bit further and let's see what, 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 the, what the details are. Okay, so what grabbed my attention from this news article from Business Wire dated the February the 17th? So if we look at the first paragraph, this is a reminder of the recent acquisition with of uh, Working Not Working, uh, a leading site for creative talent, and the new platform is expected to cater for the changing needs of the industry and signals are moved by Fiverr into the multi-billion dollar marketing industry. So absolutely fantastic news there. In terms of growth, uh, the other thing that also grabbed my attention is third paragraph down, and that is that the, the new platform designed to launch later this year, 2021, is designed to give marketers and agencies the ability to curate their own highly skilled creative teams, combining Fiverr's technology and world-class talent from uh, the creative and advertising industry. So what this indicates is that as well as individual clients and customers that um, Fiverr website targets. They are now obviously targeting commercial uh, businesses as well, uh, focusing, focusing, focusing especially on, on marketing agencies. So huge, huge catalyst for growth here going forward and excellent news. So just going to finish off on this news article uh, on the final page here, looking at um, the key strengths, a reminder of, of why Fiverr International is a, an excellent organization to make an investment in. So let's have a look at the bottom. So obviously they, uh, for the previous 10 years, they have been working on uh, using skilled freelancers, offering digital services in more than 500 categories. So I myself have also used Fiverr uh, previously for lots and lots of uh, work uh, with freelancers. Uh, they have uh, examples of work that you can use such as graphic design, digital marketing, video, animation, website design, etc. Uh, they have over from September 2020 over 3 million custom, customers bought from freelancers across more than 160 countries. So excellent worldwide coverage of their services and uh, going forward uh, I think uh, this is a company that's going to, going to continue to grow. So let's move over to the most important aspect of this analysis, and that is the Fiverr announcement of fourth quarter and full year 2020 results, which have just come through literally this morning before the markets have opened. So first headline, strong finish to 2020, phenomenal year with accelerating growth in the fourth quarter, revenue grew by 89% and active buyers grew by 45%. Absolutely tremendous news for investors, tremendous news for the business going forward. 
as we've just seen there they have now many many more categories so they have 500 plus more categories that they offer including digital services that we just see so in the news articles let's continue with what what they are doing going forward so the first thing that they're doing in terms of promotion they're having the first ever super bowl commercial so this is going to put platform uh, fiverr onto one of the biggest stages in the world uh, it got in terms of promotion and awareness and uh, i expect this will also lead to more sustained growth in their services and revenue will continue to increase uh, so they have a strong guidance for 2021 they expect the business momentum to still be strong um, with 46 to 50 percent revenue growth so very very positive there momentum in 2010 to continues for uh, into 2021 and they do expect uh, the, this growth to continue post pandemic uh, so they um, have some uh, very very positive headlines there now let's have a look at the summary of the financials so just a quick summary of the full year 2020 financial highlights so we can see here the revenue in 2020 was 189.5 million and this is an increase of 77% over the year. So absolutely tremendous growth in revenue there. So the gross margin was 82.5%. And this is an increase of 330 basis points from 79.2% uh, in the previous year. So this obviously indicates the company is much, much more profitable in, uh, in terms of their returns. And also could indicate they are also lowering their costs in order to give this better return. So uh, absolutely tremendous news here. Uh, so going forward, how, how can we uh, enter this play if we have not already entered? So let's have a look at the a possible strike price. So previous days trading, uh, Fiverr International closed at $306.81. Uh, so I, I think any strike price uh, close to $300 would be excellent value. Going forward, I do see a, possibly a little bit of consolidation towards $300, but long term, this, this is a, a, a definitely a safe play in terms of uh, return on your investment. And this is also one of the stocks that I've, I've continued to hold uh, over the long term. So consider any strike price around $300 going forward or below. Okay, so it's time now for lesson of the day. And lesson of the day is going to look at strategies to use when the whole market is down. Uh, generally down so there's two strategies that i'd like you to make uh, be aware of number one strategy number one is ride it out and that is just basically let the market do what it wants to do leave your shares there and if you are confident that the companies are solid and uh, going to recover then it's just a, a matter of time and then hopefully you, you should see a recovery and a, a return because generally most solid companies the share price will recover and you will get your investments back Strategy number two is probably more common with lots and lots of investors and that is use cash to buy the dips because when, when the market has crashed, uh, lots of analysts, lots of investors, uh, what they like to do is pick up the shares at cheap bargain prices uh, and this is something that I did yesterday myself. So let's just have a look at this overview of the market when previous days trading. As you can see, lots and lots of red you know, Apple was down, Microsoft was down, Tesla was down. Uh, so lots and lots of red there. There are, there are kind of little bits of green. Amazon was was, was slightly up, uh, but mostly every, everything is down. So uh, what you may be also thinking is, well, it's it's fine and good to say, well, how buy the dips and use cash to uh, buy cheap shares. But what if I have no cash? What if my money is tied up so one strategy i used yesterday is i used uh, money from safer stocks such as let's say for example um, i use stock uh, investments from neo investments in neo and i used that to uh, buy dips in companies like fuel cell which i thought was a good price yesterday um, bloom energy was a, a good price buying price yesterday sends on zomedica and Atos were all at good prices yesterday. So uh, one strategy is use cash from your safer stocks uh, because that you can treat that as cash as well. So I hope that it helps. And thank you very much for watching. Please join me again.